Guys, welcome to Refuge Real. It's always, it's just so good to have you. Thanks for joining us. Um, we're going to spend some time in worship, and then we're going to head up on the hill again and talk about God's love. So welcome. It's good to have you. Every time I tried to make it on my own, every time I try to stand and start to fall, all those lonely roads that I have traveled on There was Jesus When this life I built came crashing to the ground When the friends I had were nowhere to be found I couldn't see it then but I can see it now there was Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the waiting, in the searching, in the healing and the hurting, like a blessing buried in the broken pieces. Every minute, every moment, where I've been or where I'm going, even when I didn't know or couldn't see it. There was Jesus For this man who needs amazing kind of grace For forgiveness at a price I could pay I'm not perfect so I thank God every day There was Jesus In the waiting, in the searching, in the healing and the hurting, like a blessing buried in the broken pieces. Every minute, every moment, where I've been and where I'm going, even when I didn't know or couldn't see it, there was Jesus on the mountains in the valley. The shadows of the hours. There was Jesus in the fire, in the flood. There was Jesus. Always is and always was. No, I never walk alone. Searching in the heat. 
love surrounds me. Jesus. There's nothing to fear. I am safe with you. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to Jesus, there's nothing impossible for you. When all I see are the ash, you see the beauty. When all I see is a cross, yeah, you see an end. Hey guys, welcome back to Refuge. It's just so good to be with you again. We're still on the ranch watching the sun go down on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. If this is your first time, welcome. It's good to have you here. 
I want to talk to the believer for a minute, those that have said yes to Jesus Christ and have said, I want to follow him the rest of my life, the days of my life. It's easy for us sometimes as believers to see our humanity and to look at ourselves in the mirror and say, who am I? Who am I? It's, even, it's, it's also or often even easy to say, I'm just, I'm just not worthy of this of this thing called salvation, this grace that he so generously pours out on us. I want to read something that King David wrote in the book of Psalms, chapter 8. My good friend Brenna shared this with me a minute ago. When I look at the night sky, this is verse 3, again, chapter 8 in Psalms. When I look at the night sky, I see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have set in place. What are mortals? that you should think of us, mere humans that you should care for us. For you made us only a little lower than God, and you crowned us with glory and honor. Powerful scripture written from King David, reminding us of who we are in Christ. When we look at ourselves in any other way, certainly not prideful, but when we look at ourselves in any other way than how Jesus sees us, we lessen the power of Calvary. We lessen the values of the cross. We lessen what Jesus did on the cross. Two, it's an abomination to God to look at ourselves any less than how he sees us. Just think about Billy Graham. If Billy Graham would have fallen back into false humility, into a place of being so concerned about what the world thought of him, we would have missed an opportunity to share life with one of the greatest evangelists of all time. Thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of lives have been forever changed because of a man that understand, understood his value in Christ. Oswald Chambers wrote something that I want to share with you that just it was so awesome. He said this, one individual life may be of priceless value to God's purposes, and yours might be that life. I wrote in my journal right below where Oswald had wrote that beautiful statement. I wrote this, humility, yeah, that's important to be humble. An understanding of my value, though, through the staggering cost of the cross, realigns false humility to the rich understanding of my value in Christ. John 3.16 says, We all know it, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, His only Son, for you and me to once again walk in the garden with God the Father. Guys, you're important and you matter your ministry, whatever that might be, whether it's going down to Starbucks on a Saturday morning and having a cup of coffee and communicating with the barista, letting he or she know how much you care for them, walking down to the bank in your local town to make a deposit or to take a withdrawal and meeting people on the street and being Jesus to them changes everything in this chaotic world of all the things that are going on around us, the world needs the Jesus in you. Never forget that. Never forget that you matter. You're important. Your time on this planet matters. To be humble, yes. But true humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. Keeping our eyes focused on Jesus the author and finisher of our faith, and then marching in bold confidence, walking out in bold confidence in this dark world and being a light, putting our light on a hill. Don't hide it under a bushel. We sang that song when we were kids, that we would be lights in the darkness. The Jesus in you, the light, the salvation, the power of the gospel within you, the world needs it. So today, as you go out and you spend your time out in the world, whatever that might be, maybe it's just with your family, your kids need you and they need Jesus in you. Dads, your children need Jesus in you. Moms, the same, that we would change the world around us. I've often said this before on Refuge Real, that when we walk into a room, the spiritual temperature of the room would change because the spirit of the living God walked in that room through you. You wouldn't be a thermometer. 
but that you would be a, ther a thermostat, that you would change the temperature of the room because of the Spirit of God living within you. Blessings. We pray for you, and then uh, we'll get on with this next part of life. Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for one more chance to serve the world around us because you've given us life today. We love you forever, and we thank you and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. Blessings. Blessings to you and your family. God bless you. We'll see you again on Refuge Real.